Yes, I go to Woodland Hills, I go to Tulsa Hills, because that's where the bigger stores are. Sharon Beck is a perfect example of what the Broken Arrow Chamber of Commerce calls a costly problem. We have known for a long time in Broken Arrow that we had an that we were an underserved market by many retailers. Chamber President Wes Smithwick says his city loses more than $1 billion in sales every year. A recent study shows the city needs more grocery and department clothing stores. It's a great sales pitch for potential retailers. Where we know we have major uh, leakage problems and, and voids, uh, we'll be then going and identifying potential uh, retailers or restaurants or service providers that fit each of those and then we'll work to try to identify and bring them in. The more differences that they have, the better. I've learned that even if you have a direct competitor, you play off of each other. Store owners along Main Street welcome the idea of competing with big box stores. Joan McCullough has been in business for 20 years. Hi, girls. We carry lines that you're not able to get at, like Walmart or Target, but we're less expensive than the mall or the higher end boutiques. New business owner Angela Slingerland is certain her make it yourself accessory store will stand out among national retailers if and when they come.